What are the advantages and disadvantages of running experimental build? The obvious disadvantages here is that your fact, uh, like, is the fact that it's probably buggy. It's more buggy than usual. Uh, the game is in early access, yes. You know, it's not done. Um, and certain bugs are left in the game because we can't work on... Like, it's better to focus on certain bugs when we rework those systems. For this update, there's a bunch of systems that we needed to rework as well. Um, so, for instance, like, with the, the creature stuff, for instance, we've completely reworked the AI from scratch, almost. Um, from you guys' perspective, it might not change too much. From our point of view, it's a huge change. Same goes with uh, some of the... There's a bunch of other technical things where uh, one of the ways... Like, we're managing how the levels are saved, which will affect, like, how rendering is handled. Maybe you guys will see a huge improvement in, in like, your frame rate. Maybe you won't. Um, we see a huge gain in terms of, like, how our behind-the-scenes stuff is handled. Um, so, yeah, like, playing an experimental... Games might be a bit more buggy than usual. You will get, like, access to some of the Update 6 stuff early, quote-unquote, uh, you know? But, you know, buyer beware. Like, it, it is an experimental state. You know, once we ship it over to Early Access, we feel like Early Access is sort of like a stable version for us. Uh, so if you really want to try out, like, the Bleeding Edge stuff, you can be an experimental. Uh, but if you want, like, a more stable version, so Early Access really is the, the way to go. Uh, you can never you can never have both unfortunately you can't have early adopter and you know bug free uh, so yes 